A lot of people also ask us, why do you take apart the car when applying protective film? We gotta do this, because if we try to wrap the car without taking it apart, we won't be able to neatly apply the film. And accordingly, at the car wash, if the washer is going to wash, he can blow up the film, and that's a mechanical damage to the film. And accordingly, our company's warranty does not cover that. That's why we do everything right, with a guarantee and disassembly. Also in the comments, there is a frequent question, why do you polish or rub the car before applying the polyethylene film or before applying the ceramic coating? You gotta do it because when a car is being transported on a car carrier, even a brand new one, it gets rained on, exposed to other weather conditions and ends up with water stains and some asphalt residue. That's why preparing the car before applying the film, even if it's new, is a mandatory procedure. Another big advantage of the protective polyurethane film is that it doesn't require polishing. As I mentioned earlier, the film tightens up when it sits in the sun, so you don't have to polish the car. The film self-heals, so the car doesn't lose its appearance, that's why it always stays like new. Top protective film manufacturers provide 10-year warranty. This ensures that the car's shine will be preserved for the full 10 years of warranty with electronic film protection. The car stays as good as new. Another big plus of polyurethane film is that if you happen to scratch it, God forbid, you can remove the film, replace it, and the part will remain like new. If there were no films on the body, then the paintwork would most likely be scratched down to the primer, and you would have to repaint the part. Many think covering with film is wasting money, but I assure you, it's actually the complete opposite of that misconception. Wrapping is an investment in your car, they are valued higher and sell faster on the secondary market. Here we are, we've checked the Mitsubishi Montero's interior. And what's behind me? We observe an empty salon, but not completely. Let's proceed to the front section of the car and take a closer look. One might be under the impression that there is exceptional soundproofing in this area, because a significant amount of a material known as noise busters has been meticulously installed. But he, as we say in all the videos, is very firm. He's laying metal, he's thickening it, but... He is not effective at all due to the fact that he is stubborn. And the vibration insulation and sound insulation should be flexible. Gotta smooth out every nook and cranny, every bump should be rolled over. And only then do the materials commence their operation. Consequently, it is a negative aspect for noise busters. And in accordance with that, the remainder of the cabin is bare. So, noise busters does not provide any effective noise insulation. To enhance it, we will place our premium SGM materials on top of noise busters. 
and only then will the owner of this car experience the full comfort of driving his brand new Mitsubishi vehicle. Well folks, the first layer in the Mitsubishi Montero Salon is ready. This is our dual prime, a double foil with a thickness of 4 mm. This material is composed of two foil layers. He will effectively eliminate all the vibration load from the body for us at present, as he is highly efficient. Beef up the metal, creates an additional frame. Check out the beauty that Alexei has created for us. He didn't just mess up, he made a mess. That's why the floor is one of the most vibration loaded areas in a car and this material handles it like no other. Now we're adding the second layer, laying down the second layer. Second layer in position, here we use a combination of multiple materials. In the arch cavity, we lay the exact same material as in the door, SGM barrier light. We use SGM Silton for the main part of the floor in the rear due to multiple mechanisms. So to properly assemble everything later, we utilize a thinner yet effective material. We also added SGM barrier ultra to the arch, thicker material to dampen most of the noise is on a membrane basis. And in the front part of the car, the most vibration loaded noisy place, we also use SGM Barrier Ultra, a substance that will eliminate all high frequency sounds and your speakers will sound like they are brand new. Our experts laid the first layer of vibration isolation material on the Mitsubishi Montero car's roof. Let me show you what he looks like. This is a vibration isolation layer that removes all vibration loads creates a frame and strengthens the roof because in this car it is quite thin so at high speeds it wiggles very well. This layer is designed to eliminate vibrations. Next we'll place the second layer. The material used is called SGM Violon Weld and he'll already remove all the high frequency noise like from raindrops, hail and other weather layers that you can steam off. Well guys, the second layer is already on the roof. Just a reminder, this is SGM Violon Valve material. And let me give you more details about him. This material will get rid of all the high frequency noise for us. And in the event that we knock on it, the roof scarcely produces any sound at this moment in time. Our studio is tight, so my friends, we shoot in whatever conditions we have. And here we have Alexi remove the door trim. We reached it. And what do we see here? We see a package. And this is your standard car dust, which only protects against dust. He does not take any sounds on himself, so everything flies into your salon. Alexei, let us show them. Here, it sounds something like a drum. Basically, he's done, just with a different material. Same effect, just like that. That's why we're cleaning up. So here we are going to have four layers of high quality materials designed to be vibration proof and soundproof. We'll drop this package. First we'll have vibration, then noise, then vibration again. And the fourth layer removes all enhanced noise for us. Door sorted. SGM double foil dual prime vibration isolation material, 4 mm thick, installed successfully. He's made up of two foil layers, so he's really efficient. He thickens the metal for us, creating a frame and consequently reducing door vibrations. Well folks, the second layer in the door is in its place. This is the SGM barrier light material. Light means that it's lightweight and they made it specifically for doors. 
without the risk of further sagging, material on a membrane basis. Here's our soundproofing and insulation. In winter, the car retains heat longer. In summer, you'll use the air conditioner less. And the cold will also stay in the cabin longer. And this material really enhances the music system. Your stock music system will come alive with new colors. You'll get a tighter base with this material and the vibration isolation underneath it. Next, instead of the dust cover, we'll close it with a 3mm SGM vibration isolation material and we'll get the effect of a home speaker. The third layer is in the right spot. Earlier he mentioned that we simulated a home column, as this material serves as a substitute for a regular dust cover. All our cavities are closed, so now the sound from the speakers enters the cabin instead of going outside. It's also an extra soundproofing, also make sure to remove any additional vibrations, and accordingly your door will let in less noise. The solid layer is attached to the door lining. This is the SGM Violon weld material. In common parlance, they are called pyramids or in narrow circles of soundproofing specialists. This material was created to eliminate all the high frequency noise. No wonder they use it in recording studios to suppress echo, which it does a great job of. In our situation, he effectively manages the high frequency noise that enters through the door from the outside. Made it to the wheel arches of the Mitsubishi Montero. No need to remove the wheel. Easy access to the works with the car's big engine. We raised him up a little bit. And allow me to demonstrate that the arch here is entirely unclothed. The only thing is they treated it with this special Giller material. Absolutely amazing. We on our part will add two more materials. Naturally, we will apply a special adhesive to this layer to ensure our soundproofing materials stay in place for a long time and do not come off. First layer, vibration isolation material. Second layer, membrane based. Next, we'll show you how they'll look and I'll explain how they work. Guys, we laid first layer in brewing. This is a vibration isolation layer that thickens metal. I made framework, we often discuss it. And accordingly, now we will have less sound when stones hit the car. If we knock on him, he became more deaf. Now we'll place the second layer on a membrane base and all the puddles, rocks, snow will fly off into oblivion and you'll hear less. Also, I want to remind you that we have two more layers in our salon beyond the metal arch itself. We have got this sandwich with five layers going on. Can you imagine what a structure it is? It becomes much, much more comfortable because arches are one of the loudest sources of noise after the floor. They're on the same level. If you only do the floor, everything will be from here. If you only do the arches, everything starts from scratch. That's why we always say you need to do everything as a package. Only then you'll feel complete. If you only do the floor, all will be fine. If you only do the arches, everything will start from zero. That's why we always say you need to do everything as a package deal. Only then you'll feel the full impact of it. Let's take a look at the second layer. This is SGM Silken Material, SGM Company. He's on our membrane basis and serves accordingly as the second layer for removing high frequency noise, which is created by wind in the wheel arch. Accordingly, after that, the sound is quieter after the second layer compared to after the first vibration isolation layer. This material handles it well. With our release, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Visit our website, everyone on your Instagram. See you soon.